What's up guys, it's Dirt coming at you with another video. Today we're on our way to my uncle's house to be fixing up his basement again, so cue that epic montage of us rolling. Guys, we arrived at the job site. We're going to show you what we're going to be doing today. All right, first plan of action is Spence is going to start on the shower. And he's going to be working on that, and I am going to be trying to get this straight. Now we have to stick blocking back behind on the drywall there, back behind the drywall, and get this screwed in. Um, I'm going to clean it off, get it caulked in, and whatnot. So let's do it, guys. And before we get started, guys, I am wearing boots and shorts. So don't get mad. Just just like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and wear boots and shorts yourself. We're trying to set a new trend this year, so let's do it. All right, so we got the back wall in. What we're going to be doing, guys, is we're going to be taking a bead of silicone, sticking it behind it, and then we're going to be, you know, putting it in place, screwing it down and everything. Uh, we're screwing it in through this top track here. Then we're going to be getting some trim to go over it. And that's about it, guys. It's going to be... Pretty straightforward, simple. So we're gonna do it real quick. to leveling, measuring, all that. Measure twice, cut once, level twice, set once, because we had to do this, take it up. Because the floor wasn't level. Yeah, so we needed to uh, basically throw some foam down so it's self-leveling, basically. Guys, I just realized I said something really stupid. It's not self-leveling. It just basically supports it from where we leveled it. We stuck some screws back in and then basically leveled it, and that foam's gonna help it not to fall down, so. I don't know why I said that. Yes, I'm recording in the bathroom of my grandma's house because my phone's camera on the other side is trash. So, so we're going to put this thing back in, set it and whatnot, level it, and then we're going to make it work. All right, guys, as you can see, I got this sink all caulked in and everything. All right, guys, here's the shower. We got it all in, caulked in and everything, finally. We got to get the trim on still, and we got to, uh, you know, get that all caulked and everything, but... We're not too worried about it at this present time, but here you go. We'll give you a little peekaroo there. It works. It's another day and we got a new weapon to add to the arsenal. This is the Milwaukee Brad Miller. M18 Fuel. It's on. It's a bomb.com. So he's unboxing it. You open it. You open it. Oh, it comes with these nice egg cartons here. Oh, look at that. We need Paper. this we for need that. We don't we didn't necessarily need it, but we're gonna be doing quite a bit of trim here soon, so we figured we'd go ahead and get it. Bang! Bang! Alright, that's that. It's unboxed and we're getting ready to get to work. Alright guys, so we've been gone for the last couple days because we, we weren't working on this. I'll just say that. Oh, we weren't working on this. We were working on a, uh, a rent or my uncle's other house. He's trying to sell it, so we we're doing a bunch of stuff over there. But now we're going to be starting to actually mud in here. We got a, uh, we got all the mud and everything out there, so we're going to start mudding seams and whatnot. So, 
cue that epic time lapse. <laughs> Spence, I need you to tell them how it is. Yeah, the, so if you got a gap. Okay. So as you can see, this drywall is tight up top, but at the bottom it's like, I don't know, half an inch, maybe two quarters of an inch off. So what you gotta do before you take that, you gotta fill it full of mud, let the mud all the way dry, and then take sand it. Sand it, and then take it after you sand it. Otherwise, it just bubbles out. I don't know because I already did it. So honest to goodness, guys, I completely forgot that I was even doing a YouTube video. I've just been getting it on this drywall, so I'll show you a couple more things uh, about like how I use my trowel a lot of the time, and then when I go to do these corners, I'll show you how to do the corners, because those I struggled with forever until I found out the best way to do it. So I'll show you that here in a minute. But let's, let's get back to work real quick. I'm going to finish up this wall here all the way to that corner, and then I'll show you how. down the middle yeah, spot where you can okay. trace it. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna rip myself off a piece that's very very generous so I can make sure I got plenty of it. Take it, rip it, take it out. It's a high good. Cut the end flat like this. Touch your end flat. And basically take it and follow that crease down the middle so that you can make yourself a piece of corn bead, I guess you could call it. I don't know what it's called, but you got to make yourself a little paper corner. Once, once you've done that, guys, what you're going to want to do is move your mud tray off of your bucket. Take it, stick it up to the top of where your mud ends. Take your finger, run it down there, push that stuff all the way into the corner. I'll show you guys how I cut this, too. Make sure you get it all the way down, and make sure you seat it right in there. I cut it. I just kind of set it in there like that. Bang. Now, take your corner trap. And you just go like that, smash that down a little bit. All the way down. Wipe off your corner trap. Okay. Then you go back up with it. Alright, so that's that. I even it. Alright. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that same method I was using before with my trowel. I'm going to basically pack some more mud on there on top, and I'll get back with you guys when I'm done. You can see what I'm doing. Alright, so we're swapping trowels, guys. We're going to swap over to the corner trowel. i got all the mud on there that I'm going to need, so I take my trowel. I can stick my finger right there. I don't really think it matters where you stick your finger. I don't think there's any code on that. Go down like this. 
And I'll do that two or three times so I like the look of it. Yeah, that's about it, guys. So I'll apply another coat uh, once it dries and I sand it. Apply another coat, we'll call that good. All right, guys, so we got everything all mudded yesterday. Everything, every single wall that has drywall on it. Things got a first coat. So what we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna be sanding a lot of it. So I guess without further ado, it's sanding time. <laughs> Change of plans, we're not saying it. our mud is not dry yet for some reason. I don't get it, but probably wasn't warm enough in here for it to dry, so we're just gonna hang some drywall in here. There's Spencer, say hi, Spencer. Say hi. Right. Anyway, we're gonna be hanging drywall all right there. We got some to do right here, and then also right there, right back here. So let's go, guys, let's do it. This was totally all his fault. I had nothing to do with it, so. Uh, no. <laughs> he did this. I'm pretty sure. No, he did it. Don't worry. It's a long time ago. It's probably in a video. Well, I'm going to go back and look. But anyways. Yeah, anyway. What happened was, on that end, as you can see, our header sticks in half an inch, so we can stick a piece of half inch drywall here just to pack it out. And this would, we would space it out with OSB in between, but this is non-load bang, just literally to hold up a space. So, that's why we're going to just put drywall here. Anyways, on this side, it was all the way out flush. We can't be having that, so we're going to fix that up. We, we cut off all the screws, we push it back over where it's supposed to be, and we're going to screw it back down. Alright guys, so for this video, this is the end of it. We got this piece of drywall on. We got the, this room the rest of the way drywall. Everything's been mudded. Uh, every room has the first coat of mud. We sanded a little bit until we realized that it wasn't dry. Well, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and always remember, Jesus saves, the devil enslaves.